Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems. It's 9 serving in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something very, let's say, short. We have a set of points. We are going to use one of the tools from our processing toolbox to now convert them, these points to lines. So we have um, a set of four points here. Yeah? And then what we want to do now is that we want to convert it towards to lines, right? Good. Now, it can be, okay, convert points to part, right? Good. So let's come down to the processing toolbox. And then um, it's actually recently used. So we have um, points to part, right? Good. So now let's click on that. Now, the essence of um, doing this video, let's say the application can be, yeah, let's say you can apply it differently from the intention we have, right? Good. But when you have the idea, you can definitely know how to go about it. So we want to actually have a polygon from these our set of points, right? Good. So that's our own intention. So yours can be a different word application, right? Good. So you come to the processing toolbox, then you type and um, points to parts, and then you see the option there. Then the input layer. Okay, let's look at the description here. The description states that this algorithm takes a point layer and connects its features, creating a new line layer, right? Good. Now. Connecting it features can be or is actually connecting these what these end points right good to create what a new layer that is what a line layer right good now an attribute or expression will be specified that if you want to go advanced in um to define the order the points should be connected if no other expression is specified the feature ID is used so by the time you go through it you can see a different application for it now let's create what a closed part is actually optional then the other was actually the second part of let's say the second paragraph right good so when you run through it then i think you can also try to define where you want to save it right good but we would however just leave it what as a temporary layer then we just see it on our layer panel so when you set these few parameters we've set the input layer then we don't specify the output then we just say create what close part then let's now click on run good we have our output somewhere around there and then we also have our part here right good so we can now see a line that has been created or let's say we can now see a set of lines that have been created that joins what those um, four points good so we um, we are trying to change the color so you can decide to export it to maybe as a KML, sorry, yeah, KML or DXF or shapefile or whatever um, vector extension that you want to export it as, right? Good. So we are trying to um, change the line style so that it can be bolder. Good. Then you can just um, right click on the layer. Either you make permanent as it is or you export, then you save feature as, right? Good. Now, upon exporting, you would see different um, vector formats that you can what, export as. You have um, the AutoCAD DXF, you have um, the conventional um, S3 shape file you have um, I think there is KML somewhere around that so any other um, vector data format that you would need you can just decide to save it as that right good so we have um, a set of points and then we've actually created what parts or let's say line joining them right good so that's the sense of today's video you can maybe get different applications of this particular concept and you can use it accordingly so we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe Keep using GIS and um, have a very good time. Bye.